Hi everyone, Todd Molesky and Jim Polzine from the State Journal. We're here at the Cole Center after Barry Alvarez just announced officially that he's retiring as University of Wisconsin Athletic Director. Uh, his final day will be June 30th. Um, Jim, it's a big day in, in Badgers athletics. What stands out to you in terms of what happened here today? Yeah, a day that we all knew was coming, but it's, it's finally here. Uh, the one thing I think UW does really well is big time events, and I thought this one was perfectly done just in terms of how they handled it. Matt LePay serving as MC, um, you know, just the formatting I thought was really good. They just did a really good job. I wondered if Barry Alvarez might get emotional. He really didn't. There were a couple moments where he might have um, started to tear up a little bit, but, uh, you know, never let it, never let it, let it get out of hand. He said, I think the emotions will come later. Uh, but, you know, I thought they handled it really well. I thought it was, a, it was, you know, he wanted it to be fun. I thought it was fun for the most part. Um, now what comes next? Where do you think it goes from here? Yeah, what comes next? We heard uh, Chancellor Rebecca Blank say that she'll go into it tomorrow, basically, that uh, what the next steps will be. We heard from Barry Alvarez that there's a committee uh, chaired by uh, Athletic Board Chair Pete Miller that'll be searching for the next athletic director. And, you know, there's no shortage of candidates. One, I mean, right inside the athletic department, Deputy Athletic Director Chris McIntosh has been, if you're looking at someone internal to carry on what's done, what's been done here at, at UW in the last, you know, five or ten years while he's been back in the athletic department, that's someone you start with. But I, I think they have to go outside for a full, you know, and complete search uh, to make sure you're not looking past someone or, or favoring someone. If, if there's a time to make a break, some would argue now's the time to do it and, and change course. Uh, some, like Barry Alvarez, would say if it's, like he said here, it's not broke, don't fix it. So that's going to be interesting to me to see where that goes from here. Yeah, he, uh, he, he didn't stump for Chris McIntosh, but sort of did end up stumping for Chris McIntosh. <laughs> and um, I'll be interested to see what happens next. And I think he understands the position that Chancellor Blank is in, um, that she needs to open this up and see what else is out there. And then if Chris McIntosh is the right guy for the job, hi, you know, hire him. Uh, but there's going to be, I think there's going to be some interesting candidates that come out of this.